Hi, my name is Marion Cordova, and I'll be sharing with you all about how the students of Marjorie Stonehill Douglas High School used their First Amendment rights after the mass shooting at their school on February 14, 2018. Now, the First Amendment gives us five different freedoms. The freedom of speech, religion, assembly, press, and the right to petition the government. Now, these students went on to first off use their freedom of the press. Plitzer.org, a website, wrote an article sharing about this, released on May 27, 2019. They went on to share about how the students involved in the school's newspaper called Eagle Eye released a news article after the mass shooting. They included obituaries for the 17 students that were killed, details on what went down, and also the activism that was going on in their school among the students after the mass shooting. They also went on to win a Pulitzer Prize for releasing this news article. Following, they also used their right to protest. The students came together and created a movement demanding more rights and more protection on guns. After the mass shooting, and after all they had been through, they just wanted to feel safe. A book talks about this, written by Lori Collier, published on 2000, in 2019. It is titled School Shootings and Never Again Movement. She states, student survivors created a new youth-led movement demanding gun reform. The teenage activists expressed outrage at the legislative inaction that failed to protect them. They also went on to use the right to petition the government. They didn't just do this with the new movement that was sharing the anger towards the government about wanting more protection, but a New York Times article also shared about how the families of the killed and injured and scarred went on to demand a settlement or something just to give them anything in return to help them cope with these times. The New York Times article written by Eduardo Mendina, published on October 19, 2021, states, the families of the killed and injured won a $25 million settlement with Broward County School District. At least with this money, they were able to give their injured kids, students, health, health care, protection, therapy, whatever they needed. Now, the next, they use their freedom of speech. A website talks about this in an article. The website's called freedomforuminstitute.org. It is an article written by Jean Polinsky and Lotta Knott. It is titled, School Walkouts in the Wake of Parkland. It was published on February 22, 2018. They state, one month after the school shootings at Marjorie Stonehill High School, the students teachers and administration across the nation plan to walk out of classrooms at 10 a.m. for 17 minutes, one minute for each child that was killed. Next, freedom of religion. Now, they didn't use this right, but there is reason why. The First Amendment protects the government from getting involved with public institutions. Now, this high school was public, so technically, the government can't get involved with religious topics at hand. The website supports this and says, the relationship between religion and government in the United States is governed by the First Amendment, which the Supreme Court has held both prevents the government from establishing religion. This was published on the website called www.ed.gov. This just goes to show that at the end of the day, religion didn't have anything to do with this mass shooting. And the students were more focused on petitioning the government, sharing their ideas through the press, sharing their freedom of speech, and growing and getting past this devastating, devastating event. Thank you.